Greek deadlines are looming, but look at gold trading. No fears of a Grexit there. If we look at the way that gold has been behaving over the past couple of weeks, uh, and especially also how it behaved back in January when we had uh, the, 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 the when the worries uh, related to Greece really kicked off once again, gold has really been drifting lower. And uh, just overnight, we've seen uh, we, well, yesterday we saw the negotiation break down, and uh, they have to find a solution before Friday. Gold is drifting low, as, uh, and it could really indicate that there's not really any belief in the moment in the gold market there's going to be a Grexit. I think that probably makes sense. Greece can't live without Europe, and Europe really can't live without Greece at this, at this stage. So it may go to the wires. So obviously, there could be some increased nervousness as we move deeper to, uh, towards Friday. But at the moment, the gold market is definitely indicating that there will be a solution before, before Friday. The Chinese New Year celebrations begin this week, and here's how gold usually reacts. Activity in Shanghai up to the uh, to the beginning of the uh, New Year festive, festival season is, is really strong and we've seen the same th this year so uh, there's been good demand in gold uh, leading up to. Just over the couple of, last couple of days we've seen uh, activity on the Shanghai Gold Exchange uh, fell off, fall off a cliff which is, uh, which is natural. We're now going to have a week uh, of, of no, uh, no activity in China and following that it could be, uh, it will take some time before activity starts to pick up again. So, so at the moment obviously that adds to the, to the downside because there's a little bit of worry that that demand may slow and that could have a negative impact on the price. So, trading strategies. Well, clearly from the, uh, from the positioning we've seen over the past couple of weeks, uh, there has been some profit take now coming into the futures market. Quite, uh, that was tied in with the break we had below 1250, which was quite a bit of a technical level. Uh, the ETF investors have also scaled back only 10% of what was built up uh, since the middle of January, so not any, any, any industrial size at this stage. So I think we are, we, we're stuck in the range at the moment, uh, the, tw the 1220, which we're getting very close to, could probably uh, give way and that would, it would uh, set our target on the 1200 level but I think overall 1200, 1240 uh, could, be, uh, could be a range for now.